Well, tonight's IPL fixture at the One Kedah Stadium promises an intriguing battle between the struggling Mumbai Indians. Yes, very rarely you find struggling in Mumbai Indians together in one season. But this is what the fact is. And the playoffs are hungry sunrises. Hyderabad with Mumbai languishing at the bottom of the table. Their playoff aspiration seems bleak, having secured only three wins in 11 matches. In contrast, Sunrisers Hyderabad, positioned fourth with six wins out of their 10 matches, are eager to strengthen their position. Well, in the playoffs uh, race, despite Mumbai's historical advantage at their head to head, Encounters Hyderabad's recent victory in their previous encounter underscores their potential to clinch another win tonight. Reflecting on yesterday's matches, Chennai Super Kings revived their playoff hopes with a convincing 28 run victory over Punjab, while uh, Kolkata Knight Riders showcased dominance with commanding 98 run win over Lucknow Super Giants, with Chennai climbing to the third spot. And Kolkata topping the points table. The co competition for the playoff berths intensifies as the league stage nears its conclusion. As the cricketing action unfolds, fans eagerly anticipate tonight's clash, poised with the uh, weather between Mumbai Indians can defy the odds and salvage their season, or if Sunrisers Hyderabad will further bolster their playoff ambition with another clinical performance. Well, joining me are three of the distinguished guests who've uh, come and joined us on uh, through Zoom. We have CM Gautam, former IPL player and a player who's played an important part at the Mumbai Indians dugout not long ago. Sadhanand Vishwanath, the man with the golden gloves, the former Indian wicketkeeper, David Brooks, former cricket director, Channel 4 UKIL. Well, Tatinda, I'm going to start off with you and welcome to the show. Tatinda, just Talk us through the stats that you have okay. as an analyst. So the stats that are obviously going to be coming out, uh, for, we've talked a lot about uh, sunrises and that three-headed monster of theirs that piles on the runs. However, for Mumbai, it is actually the opposite. They're struggling to get a partnership, decent partnership and runs on the board, especially in the top order. If we're looking at their last three games, and I'm just going to run through uh, the most recent game as well. Against KKR, Ishan Kishan, 13 runs. Rohit Sharma, 11. Uh, Sky had 56. Tilak Varma, 4. Hardik Pandya, 1. Against LSG, Ishan Kishan, 32. Sharma, 4. Uh, Sky, 10. Varma, 7. Pandya, 0. And then finally, the third game behind uh, Kishan, he had 20. Sharma had 8. Sky had 26 and uh, Pandya 46. So problem here with, Mum uh, with Mumbai, and they've also given up the most wickets uh, in, the, in the IPL, 79 wickets. That goes to show you just how disrupted or how disruptive, how disrupted their uh, batting order can be. Uh, that's going to be a big, big concern because you know Sunrisers Hyderabad are gonna pound well, out on the board. CM Gautam, you've been a part of the team. Let's talk about the worst situation that Mumbai finds themselves into. First, is they can't score. Second, they can't take wickets. B, the top order usually crumbles and lets the middle order take the charge and they fail far too often. What do you think is going wrong? Yeah, I think they have let down themselves very badly. I think uh, they have to play for uh, the pride. Obviously, they won't be qualifying because right. looking at the points table. And having said that, uh, if they win today, oh. it will open up the entire uh, uh, table, you know, the, even RCB have a good chance after this in yes. the next three games. Kings Eleven Punjab have a chance, but Delhi have a chance. So probably today's encounter will be like a much most watched. I feel like <laughs> because uh, if Mumbai uh, get upset tonight, I think RCB and uh, Kings Eleven have a very good chance of making it if they win the remaining. In three fact, CM Gautam, your yeah. city colleague Sadaran Vishwanath actually made that point three days ago on our show. Saying that Maybe. don't let yeah. RCB, don't try it off. two teams met at the inaugural match, remember? At yeah. the Rajiv Gandhi International Stadium. Yes, go and on. 38 sixes were scored in that match. Go on. MI responded very well. They made 246. But today they're meeting at the iconic Warkane Stadium. Unless a mathematical miracle happens, I don't see Mumbai Indians making it to the playoffs. SRH have got a lot at stake and they will go all out. 
to get one step closer into the playoffs. And they will also try to get into the first two slots. Because number one team and the number second team, they have two shots at the title. You know, they don't want to just play the eliminator. So that's my take on the, today's match. Well, David Brooks, when a top decorated team like Mumbai Indians loses far too often and way too much is their loss percentage, what do you make of it? Do you, do you, do you want to look at it and call it like the Manchester United, the big decorated, good commercial team, but suddenly it doesn't make the cut? Well, it's been a huge disappointment. And, you know, it started off with the home crowd booing their new captain, Hardik Pandya, and it's not got no better since then. So what sort of reception will he get today, you know, from the home crowd? Will he be on his back? Will the pressure be mounting uh, from ball one? Yeah, as um, uh, Tatenda was saying, the top order has not really been delivering that opening partnership between Rohit and Nishan Kishan, which looks so promising on paper, hasn't quite come off in the last games. And Rohit's on 65 in his last five matches. They're reliant on him. And uh, as Siam was saying, there's probably more riding on it for SRH today. They're going to be more motivated of the two and uh, with a more of a spring in their step. Jasper Brummer, how can he be on a losing side so often when he bowls so well? That's the question we asked the RCB, David Brooks. How can Virat Kohli be the, uh, you know, scoring the highest number of runs till today and be on the losing side perpetually? Second point is that you've got world's best bowler, Jaspreet Bumrah. He's not only, you know, one of the top 10 in the top 10 uh, IPL. You've got Rohit Sharma, who's arguably the greatest opener the world has seen in T20. Still with them, they're languishing at the bottom. What's going wrong? Well, I think that I think you have to look at the leadership. And I don't what I hate to say this, but if you look at these two teams today, contrasting leadership on the field. Um, Pat Cummings has been so good with his bowlers, he's been so good in terms of motivation with the team. It hasn't happened for Hardik Panjit, you know, as a captain. Uh, I remember seeing him on the losing side when he captained India in the T20 series against West Indies. That's um, correct. He hasn't got it. Uh, it feels like at times it's management by committee on the field. You see all the senior players gathering round, and slight sense of panic from, from Hardik Pandya. And luck's not been with him with the bat or the ball. So with that pressure on the captain, um, that's what I think has been the single biggest reason for MI's underperformance this year. Ciel. Gotham, I'm going to get you into this discussion. You've got the arguably the greatest uh, mentor in the world in Sachin Tendulkar in the dugouts. The greatest, the best. You've got uh, Mark Boucher, you've got the best names, you've got the best baller, you've got the former Indian captain, you've got the current, uh, I mean, you've got the current Indian T20 captain and the vice captain in the same team. Yet, they're not making the right changes. Now, who's listening, who's talking, and who should be listening to who? What is the problem? Coming back to the question for Mumbai Indians. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a team game, you know, like one person can't win you the game. So, all the 11 has to be like uh, put in their effort and give the best on the field. As uh, David said, I rightly agree with him. Um, he said, unfortunately, Mumbai Indians lack motivation and inspiration. Uh, whereas, uh, SRH will be like... Uh, motivated and looking to get, get one leg into the playoffs uh, in tonight's game. So, having said that, uh, I think uh, everything has gone wrong to, wrong for Mumbai Indians this season. Right from his cap, right from captaincy to the from the management as we spoke earlier. Yes. And I think uh, all I said, all I, all I look forward is to like uh, win a game today and give something to the fans and play for the uh, pride. You That's spoke very it. briefly I'm, about, forgive me for interrupting, you spoke yeah. very briefly about Changes, you know, the making making changes, and Pat Cummins is very good at it. Now, Hardik Pandya has been playing World Cups and international cricket for for more than eight years. Now, what is he not doing right? Is it, is it the field placements? We're just trying to understand because we need to demystify the the problem, or is it the scouting, who, who is um, headed by again former Indian left arm spinner Rahul Sangli? So, where does this buck stop? The fans want to know. I think all it started was uh, right from the beginning of the IPL. You know, the people started criticizing him, and the people are booing him in the stadium. I think the self-confidence will obviously get a hit. 
and even his decision making hasn't been that great because he himself has not been bowling when it matters right so he's been bowling opening he's been bowling number 5 and he he doesn't know what is doing even the batting order it was unnecessary change of bringing namandeep namandeer uh, last game at number 3 where the surya kumar was uh, doing well at number 3 so he's not he doesn't know what is doing i feel like all of a sudden he is like looking to do lot of changes unfortunately the team is not clicking the opening pair is not been getting runs and even the middle order has been a let down one game surya get run one one game he doesn't get run so they're all over the place even he's not been getting runs uh, hardik pandey himself so as a team they're not clicking to be honest with you and even the bowling there is bits and pieces apart from bumrah so one one bowler and one batsman can't win the win the entire championship so it, it it has to be a collective effort and it has to be the team effort to win championships well sadran vishwanath very important point uh, gautam has made he said yeah. it's not clicking that's all right but when things are not going your way when the going gets tough what do you need to do do you need to take a step back yeah. look at the play and then make a comeback or just go with the flow your views go with the flow go with the flow and try to get your best out you know, try to get your best elements out try to find your caliber try to find your hidden resolve try to find your mental strength and courage and uh, yeah actually you can't really pinpoint what is the problem in mumbai and mumbai indians it's been a multitude of problems they've had a you know hectic problems in every sphere of activity right from their management right from the talent scouts right from the batting order right from the captaincy i mean they've had it really very sad in this particular season and you know what in the opening slot also sunil rohit sharma has been out six times in the power play yes sham kishan has been dismissed seven times in the power play so when you don't find the all your blazing guns firing in the power play then how are you going to you know ask your middle order and uh, the tail to you know wag its tail and how are you going to post the next course i want to so, mumbai i want to get in to tinda i got to go over I'm going to get in Tatinda to further your point on power play. Tatinda, over yeah. to you on the power play and how worse one team can be because today is a match between the top three team, which is the Super uh, Sunrisers, mm -hmm. and the bottom of the pyramid, which is Mumbai Indians. Well, all right. All right. So if we're mm -hmm. going to look at perhaps like power play, and I think maybe let's just uh, have a look at it there. Uh, their averages this season. Uh, for the top order anyway. Uh, Kishan, that's uh, 27.43. Uh, uh, Rohit Sharma, 34.83. And then Sky, when he does play, because he has, he, it's, it's not been all the time, but uh, when he does come in, uh, 25, uh, 25 runs. Now, if you contrast that uh, with, uh, with, sun, with uh, Sunrisers, of course, uh, on the season, Sharma, 31. Uh, Travis Head, 44. And then uh, Klassen, 48. I think there's a stark difference when you then look at how that top order is performing versus this one. And of course, Sunrisers are very, very stingy with their wickets. Yes, they had a losing streak, but generally speaking, you don't get those guys out in the power play. Tatinda, just take us through what if, hypothetically, mm -hmm. what if uh, Klassen uh, and Sharma lose their wicket? What is the impact mm -hmm. on uh, Sunrisers? Because is that the Achilles heel? Because they're their yes. uh, middle order hasn't been tested your views uh i would, I would certainly say so i think in their losing streak there what you would have picked up is the fact that they prefer to have a uh, classen come in to uh, face the new ball and that's typically around about the fifth or the sixth over if it does come down to that so if you can get through travis head and if you can get through uh, abhishek sharma especially in the power play where uh sunrisers really prioritize getting runs on the board you can disrupt them very very much so but as we're talking about it, both with the runs as well with the ball, Mumbai just have not been on form. So it's very hard to see, because we, we mentioned Bumrah. Nowadays, I think if I'm, uh, if I'm Sunrisers, I would perhaps try to just play defensively when Bumrah's overs and then smash everybody else, because <laughs> that seems to be uh, the best way to go about with Mumbai Indians right now, because there's no threat. So that, I think, would be the key to beating Sunrisers. Mumbai on the other end? David Brooks. Do you think uh, there are too many problems to sort out and they should just let go of this year and just concentrate on their, you know, their, their uh, social media responsibility or <laughs> digital <laughs> responsibility? What should they do? Well, I think, as Gotham said, uh, they, won't, uh, they won't do that because there's too much pride at stake. And, and they've got a home crowd who want to see some uh, results today. Uh, so, no, I expect them to uh, be fully, fully out to win this match. 
they've got just as much to lose in a way as SRH in terms of uh, that pride factor and, and uh, at the foot of the table. They won't want to end up there. So it's all to play for. Uh, so I, don't think sh I don't think there'll be any lack of motivation on both sides. Uh, but at the end of the day, when you look at that captaincy and as Gotham says, the on-field decisions haven't been quite right. And we've all played in matches perhaps where we've seen a captain lose, you know, quite not quite in control of the situation and is infectious, especially when you've got an ex-captain there as well on the field. Uh, perhaps some people think should still be the captain. So with those issues, I think um, you have to, to look at SRH having a smoother passage today in this match. So, is that what your cricket predictor is all about? That's my that's my predictor today, SRH. Yeah, we're well, not the original. Gautam, are you wearing the Mumbai Indians hat today, or you're just watching the match as a fan and a former player? Tell if me. you look at it, I'm wearing I'm wearing a Mumbai Indian jersey and sitting in front of you. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm Let going me take a couple them. of more fan questions. I'm not letting you go. If you're wearing that jersey, tell us what's going wrong, even with the bowling. You know, the the spin. The spin attack, you've used the largest number of players. Is there a sign of Harakiri here that you suddenly don't know what you're doing? You've got the big boys at the dugout and your bowlers are squandering and getting hit over the fences. What's wrong with the bowling? The Mumbai certainly Indians form a player. Certainly, they have the reputation to carry their five-time champions. It's not that easy to play for Mumbai Indians. Obviously, the pressure is high. The expectations are high. Whereas you play for other teams like Kings Eleven or uh, Rajasthan Royals, or Delhi Capitals, yes. you don't have this kind of a pressure. Not at all. These guys are five-time champions. You know, you have that uh, pride playing for Mumbai Indians. You know, and having said that, uh, tonight it will be a, like a challenging for themselves because the Indian team captain and vice captain are playing in the team. Absolutely, and world's and best bowler, by the way, Jasprit Bumrah. Yeah, yeah. And they are playing in the <laughs> team which are losing consistently and they are at the 10th in the table. So, have, they have the reputation to like say, come on guys, I think we have to put our best, uh, best show. World Cup is coming up. We need to like win and uh, uh, finish the tournament on a high. And having said that, if they win today, you know, the table will open up. You know, That's the table point. opens up. Table opens up, the entire IPL gets interesting, you know. You know, because the table LSD opens up no... for the for the other ones, the other losers, including RCB. RCB, you, RCB, Kingsland, Punjab, Delhi Capitals, they have a chance to get into the quarterfinal, I mean the playoffs. So, Lovely. The tonight's game will be like very, very crucial. And having said that, it will be like entertaining one. Because <laughs> the ground is small, the pitch is good. And, and the crowd support well. is for <laughs> Mumbai Indians. It will be all blue jersey. Yeah. That is for sure, that is for sure. Uh, and having said that, uh, SRS batsmen, they'll be like looking to play in one cadet. You've suddenly, in... you've suddenly made it like a nationalistic pitch, saying that uh, if Mumbai Indian wins, if these guys win, it'll be good for India at the World Cup, it'll be good for the IPL. But the hundred million dollar question to Sadhanand Vishwanath, yeah. will these guys rise like Phoenix? Straight from the ashes, the Mumbai Indians, or they'll be burned in the sun and the sun rises. Oh, that's very harsh. So that's, well, it's a um, happy world laughter's day. He who laughs last, laughs the loudest. So it's a great chance for Mumbai Indians, you know, to come up with all that uh, arsenal firing. And they can also bring a lot of cheer. And remember, it's world laughter day. So I think so Mumbai Indians might have an outside chance. But I'm also very much an admirer of Pat Cummins. He has been responsible in grooming yes. the SLH team into a winning unit. And he's been leading from the front, holding the to making some great changes on the field and off the field too. He's a great. He's been a great inspiration. So I would go SRH today, all the way. Absolutely. SRH to win. But for the sake of cricket and the, for the sake of fandom, we want Mumbai Indians to win because Gautam came out with a brilliant strategy and spoke about how it will open up for three teams who perhaps languishing at the bottom and are uh, having equally worse time. But if Mumbai plays well, it will be like somebody else's gain, right? And on that note, I'm going to thank all my fellow analysts and the cricket commentators and the former Indian greats to have joined us on this program called Cricket Predictor. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.